I've spoken with a lot of people across our district that are, um, are in manufacturing or import-export, be it in crops, be it in farm-related uh, agriculture, be it in manufacturing, of which we have numerous great uh, plants and corporations within the second district that import and export and do trade across the world. I think free trade is extraordinarily important, not only to our state, but to our nation. For other places to have access to the products we make helps to grow our economy and helps to provide jobs. And we know that here within the second congressional district, increasing our economic growth and increasing job opportunities for the people who live here is critically important. But trade has even a more important benefit than just economics of our state, and that is in world peace. We know that those countries with whom we trade are also less likely to go to war with us. It's an interesting thing when you travel the 2nd Congressional District, even very small places in our district that are quite rural have a, a viewpoint on the trade issue. Most all of them, uh, whether they're rural, in agriculture, or whether they're in technology, all know that something had to be done about China. I think most people do appreciate that President Trump is willing to take on China, try to renegotiate or to negotiate a trade deal with China, which is fair to the United States which allows us to um, export products to China, but also import products uh, to China. Also addresses uh, the theft of intellectual uh, property or uh, property rights. So those are issues that most people understand and they're very supportive of the president and I too am supportive of the president. I think it's critically important that the House pass USMCA or the United States-Mexico-Canada trade agreement. This is something that's already been passed both by Canada and Mexico and is only waiting for the House of Representatives to pass. As, as we've seen with President Trump and his negotiations, we're trying to have trade deals that are fair to the United States, that don't unfairly penalize the United States or its workers and allow us to compete globally across the world. We know that we have an extremely talented workforce, people that are ready, willing, and able to work and to make the best products available. But if another country can undercut the good efforts that we make in the United States, we're not able to produce the goods at a price that we can export uh, to a global economy.